My name's Steve Reed. I'm the HR Director here at Omedia. Uh, my role effectively entails everything from hiring your employees through to setting the cultural agenda, looking at how we build the right kind of leadership, talent, uh, and really support people to develop in our environment. The best place to start looking for a role when you graduate university is, is clearly you know, some of the formal methods is looking online, you know, looking at different job advertisements. But really these days a lot of roles come through networking and, and who you know. Some good places to find jobs uh, is you know, if, you, if you talk to family and friends, you network through people you know, you know, roles that you've worked before. I think when you're applying for a job, like it, it is important to go for what you really want but it is important to be realistic at the same time and, and I think that balance really is, I've got a golden rule which is if you look at a role and think I could do 70% of that role whether it's the skills, capabilities, experience that I have the leads in and I think it's worth looking at. When would you hear back about an interview post applying for a role? Um, <clears throat> look I think if you haven't heard within about two weeks of applying or at least the job closing, two to three weeks is probably getting less likely. If you haven't heard, don't you know? Don't be afraid to follow up. Actually, check with the employer, but do so in a way which is curious about your application, rather than trying to hound them around. You know where it's at. If you've been rejected from a job, feel free to call up, try and get some feedback, specific feedback about what it was, and then look at how do I target that. But at the end of the day, every rejection is an opportunity to actually learn more about what you can do next time. Tip for any graduates looking for a role is, you know, in applying for roles, be yourself. Like you want to be your best self, but but be yourself, uh, because if there's a if you put too much pressure on yourself to be someone you're not in the interview process through a CV, you know, pump up your skills more than what they really are, <clears throat> you'll always get found out. So be yourself, and that's the best way to find the best fit for you and the organisation. Yeah.